What's up, YouTube? Episode 84 of the Daily Bespoke Edge. I am Ryan. And in today's episode, we're really recapping and kind of summarizing the preceding three episodes. We went over really the basics. We talked about what is a sport coat, what is a blazer, and then what is a suit. And you probably have an idea of each one of those, but I thought it was really key to kind of go over each one specifically and also admit that there is some overlap between a couple of them. So what does all this really mean in kind of a, a macro level? A lot of menswear can be very expensive. You can certainly spend a mortgage payment or your monthly rent on a suit. You can spend a lot of money on a sport coat. On a blazer can get expensive. And so it makes a lot of sense to really make some smart decisions when you're out there buying and shopping. And a, a big key part of that is finding pieces that kind of work on their own under different occasions. So let's just take a step back and say you're kind of new to men's style and you're looking to build your wardrobe. Maybe you've got a new job or maybe you just have more money now and so you're looking to kind of spend a little bit of money on dressing better. So what can you do? Number one thing is go out and get a nice suit. Every man needs a good looking suit in his closet. You're going to wear it on whether it's date night or going to a wedding or big presentation at work or at school. You know, everyone has a reason for a suit. And if you don't think you dress up that much, or those around you, whether the workplace or your, your city, your town, whatever, isn't real dressy, well, who cares? The real, real question is, do you want to dress better? Do you want to wear a suit? Because you can wear a suit any day of the week, anytime you want. You're always going to look good. So on that topic, there are two fabrics or really colors that are going to be kind of your go-tos. Some sort of dark navy, and we're talking about suits, some sort of dark navy or a charcoal. Those two things are just going to be perfect for everything. The reason I didn't list like a really dark black or like a true black or a midnight blue, for instance, is that those will be very, very dressy looking. So in that case, you might be a little overdressed because the fabric is so dark looking. And so that kind of typical navy, and you see me wear my, uh, my darker navy suit quite often, that's a great option. That's really versatile. And then charcoal is a go-to. So that should be your first suit. And it'll be, kind of become your workhorse suit. I think you'll wear it quite a bit. Now, if you get something that's kind of a solid uh, color, like those two examples, and you don't get a peak lapel, which is kind of more dressy, more fashion forward, but you have a notch lapel, now you have a very, very versatile, almost standalone blazer, right? So if you get something like that, you can take that jacket, you can wear with a pair of dark jeans or you know, even some khakis or something that's kind of tan or, or beige or really anything. Like if you have a real but not too dark blazer, that thing just will cover all your bases. And so you're doing double duty already with that one suit purchase. That's probably where I would stop if you're trying to save a lot of money and just get the most bang for your buck. Then you have a question. If you do have a little bit more money you can spend, or if it's important to you that you want to kind of find a more of a typical sport coat, which can be a ton of fun, that can be your go-to for a lot of daytime sort of things. Because if you recall, usually we want to wear, as a general rule of thumb anyway, your lighter colors during the day, and then at night you kind of go darker. So that blazer that was doubling as your, your suit jacket, you know, that's more for the nighttime, I would argue. But again, if it's important to you and you have the funds for it, a sport coat is a great thing for just really any occasion of the day. And it's a really easy and a really fast way to elevate your style. A good example is in the workplace. If you have kind of a, a casual working play, workplace, which a lot of them are today, to be honest, especially in the Denver area, a sport coat is not going to be seen as being too dressy, but you're already going to be just you know looking pretty sharp. So on the context of what kind of sport coat, it's really up to you, right? That brown one that you see me I wore in the, uh, the sport coat episode, you know, it's kind of a little more bold. It's got kind of a bright blue plaid pattern to it, but you can find plenty that are a little bit more conservative looking. And that brown hue, I think, is just a really good option because it's definitely good for fall. It can be worn in spring, summer, why not? And depending how thick the fabric is, maybe it carries you through winter too. Other options you might have are kind of your, your basic earth tones. You know, like maybe some grays or some slight variations on that brown. Maybe you find something that's kind of almost like a, 
I don't want to say ivory because that seems too too white, but you know something that's kind of a softer earth tone. And if you go to a, a you know a garden nursery and look at like all the the gravel pits and the you know their the, their mulch pits, for instance, and I have that topic on the on the brain because it's very you know springtime. Everyone's doing their gardening and landscaping this time of year. But if you take a look at all that, there's your color. There's your color scheme. So something like that is just going to be a very versatile sport coat for you. So that's how I kind of approach it on a macro level is that definitely you need a suit. You're going to wear it at some point. You'd be happy you had one. And beyond that, see if you can kind of find something that will do double duty as a blazer too. But then if you want to go a step farther, take a look at a sport coat. And then, of course, if you want to get a standalone blazer, it's something that's just uh, maybe even a really traditional blazer, kind of that traditional navy, even maybe a double breast, which would be pretty cool. We'll try and get some of those so that we can show you. You know, that's how you kind of take these sequential steps in men's style and start building out something, all with that kind of practical mindset, which is a very recurring theme in menswear. You know, our clothing serves a purpose. And I think saving money in that uh, effort to improve your wardrobe and become a better dressed version of yourself is pretty smart, pretty savvy. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, what would you do? Would you get just a suit? Would you kind of put a sport coat ahead of a blazer for your own um, potential uses? I'm kind of curious what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe. In the next episode, I believe we're going to kind of go over a, um, a case study of one of my favorite combinations of that brown sport coat and then everything else I pair with it and kind of the reasoning behind it. Does that make sense? So you won't want to miss that one. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.